There has been some evidence that's come out that federal law enforcement knew about planned demonstrations at and in the Capitol on January 6th. Furthermore, there's been some evidence that's come out from Revolver News, notably, that law enforcement officials were involved, actually, in orchestrating some of the events of January 6th. Now, this sounds like a wild, crazy conspiracy theory. The, what, you're telling me, Michael, that the FBI may be, and I'm not, not claiming this was certainly the case, but there is evidence and there are reports of it. you telling me, Michael, that the FBI had some hand in what was going on on January 6th? I am. Yeah, I am telling you that. First of all, I know that everything gets memory hold these days when it doesn't fit the narrative. Who planted the bombs? Remember, we were told they discovered bombs outside of the RNC and the DNC. Who planted them? We live in the age of surveillance capitalism, to use a popular phrase. We live in the age where there's a camera on every block. There's cameras outside of the RNC and the DNC and every other building. The FBI was able to trace down every single eccentric Republican who entered the Capitol on January 6th, but we can't trace down who planted bombs, allegedly, outside of the RNC and the DNC. That's kind of weird. And, and even beyond what happened on January 6th, as BuzzFeed nude, News, a left-wing outlet, is pointing out, the FBI very often has a role in some of these alleged terror attacks. So notably, and this is from, from BuzzFeed, the conspiracy to kidnap Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Do you remember that? That was a few months ago. We were told that the radical far right Nazi fascist Republicans were going to go kidnap Gretchen Whitmer. Well, it turns out that the FBI had a pretty, pretty big role, not just in, in, uh, executing this, this action, but in planning it as well. At least a dozen confidential FBI informants reportedly assisted the quote unquote investigation into this alleged extremist group. And this is the weirdest part. Some of the informants reportedly took leading roles in the scheme. They didn't just tell the feds what was going on with the extremist group. They didn't even just egg other people along. They took leading roles in the alleged plot to kidnap the governor of Michigan. To date, this is according to BuzzFeed, one defendant has formally accused the government of entrapment, arguing that the FBI assembled the key plotters, encouraged the group's anti-government feelings, and gave its members military-style training. And additional defendants have said that they plan to make similar claims when the cases, which are divided now between federal and state courts, go to trial within the next few months. If you want to see the long history of this sort of thing, I'd recommend you go head over to Revolver News right now. They have a great article on five instances of the FBI in American history putting forward operations to encourage acts of terrorism. Because <laughs> I, I get the FBI's legitimate role in getting informants to thwart acts of terrorism, but sometimes things get so far that it seems like the cart is leading the horse, seems like the tail is wagging the dog. This is always my view. Whenever the Ku Klux Klan is brought up in the mainstream media, which is frequently, we're told there are, there are all these Klansmen running around America. I strongly suspect that roughly 99.3% of self-described Klansmen in America are just FBI informants <laughs> informing on all of the other FBI informants that I think it's a completely, almost completely contrived phenomenon to maintain. Uh, I'm not even saying this is through malice. It might be just through the incompetence of the federal intelligence and law enforcement agencies but to maintain a boogeyman that is almost entirely a phantom. Before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. That's the name of this entire episode. You like the clip, you like the episode. Yeah, we actually do talk about Eric Clapton on that show because Eric Clapton is taking a firm stand against vaccine mandates. Head on over right now to the Michael Knowles Show on YouTube. You can get it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, MySpace, Zanga, Live Journal, and you can also get my book, Speechless, Controlling Words, Controlling Minds. See you next time.